Hi, welcome to this new video of YubiKey series. And in this video, I'm going to unpack and onboard a standard security key NFC. And I've realized that I never did a video in which I'm unpacking actually a YubiKey because I started this series where I already have unpacked and used all my YubiKey. But thanks again to Yubico for sending me this key uh, for free for review. I'm going to give you the idea on how easy it is to onboard on the use of a security key. It's very easy. And I'm going to suggest you if you still don't have a physical security key and you care about your digital security, you better, you better plan to buy one of these. First of all, I like Yubico for creating such a minimal package. So you don't waste plastic, you don't waste paper, and after all, you only need the key. So you don't have anything fancy. You got your key inside these tiny packages, and on the back of the key, you have a link. It's yubico.com slash start, and it contains all the information you need to onboard your key. Now I'm going to... Um, Open the key. Okay. And here is your key. It's a really, ah, it seems like a standard USB key, but this is going to get you really more secure on the internet. Now, let's try a simple onboarding with a Google account. I have a test Google account, and as you can see from this screen, I have nothing special in security. I only have my username and password. I not have enabled two-factor authentication. I don't have passkey. I don't have anything. So let's see how a security key like the Yubico security key can make you more secure. And remember, this is the blue one. This is the less expensive one. You can buy one of these for almost 25 euros plus taxes. So it's almost 30 euros in Italy. And the price is almost double for the Yubico 5 series. So I'm going to show you the basic YubiKey functionalities. First of all, I want to turn on two step verification. Okay. And I start to manage settings and I'm going to add a two step verification and I can add a phone number, uh, but I can just turn on two step verification and it, it needs absolutely my phone number for this. And this is a good security measure, having a phone number so you can always unlock your account. Now that you have your phone number added to your account, you can turn on two-factor authentication with an authenticator app. But this is really the old way of doing security. We have a new standard and it, called, it is called the passkey. So it is the first option, passkey and security key. And Pasky is just a commercial and fancy name for a set of cryptographic protocols uh, like FIDO2 that allows you to store a private key inside the device. And you can use the private key to verify your identity, showing that you are in possess of that device. So a Pasky, it's not bound to a physical key like YubiKey. It's bound just to a physical device. So the Pasky can be stored inside your computer, inside your Windows account, inside your tablet, or clearly it can be stored inside your YubiKey. And this is probably the most secure and the most convenient one. So I'm going to plug the key inside my USB port. OK. And I'm going to proceed to add a security key. Clicking this button allow, to allow the browser to create a passkey for your Google account. OK. And it, it gives me some uh, information. And I can press create a passkey. OK. And um, it asks the pin. So this is where things become confused. OK. Because you never set a pin on the key. And it is asking the pin. But actually, this is not the pin of my key. Actually, this is the pin of my Windows account. And that is because, as I told you before, a passkey can be created even bound to your uh, computer. So actually, if I'm going to press, I'm going to enter my pin for this computer, I can create a passkey. So actually, I didn't touch the key, and the key is not even used. And this is the confusing part of the passkey. And so as you can see, 
the site is telling me that I've created a passkey with Windows Hello, okay, not the security key. I demonstrated this because it, it, it confuses a lot of persons because people just plug in the key, maybe the key is already used, and if you use the same pin on your YubiKey, the same, key, the same pin you use in your Windows Hello, this is gonna be a big confusion. So I strongly suggest that when you set the pin to your YubiKey, you choose a different pin than the pin you're using for your Windows Hello account, because when you got a confirmation Windows, you really understand if you are using the wrong pin, you are using the wrong credential. So in this situation, I'm gonna remove this passkey because I don't wanna use a passkey on my Windows account. I wanna use a passkey inside my Yubico security key. So forgive me for reaching this point and still haven't used my Yubico key, but the problem is with the introduction of passkey, I think it's gonna be a little bit confusing. So if you wanna use your key, please pay attention because the vast majority of sites use a button in a prominent position that create a passkey on your device, in my Windows account in this situation, because less people have physical keys. So you need to push this button below, create a passkey. And then you need to press use another device because it, the first option that the operating system gives is in the decide that this is always stored in your device. So I use another device and okay, now things are gonna go the right way. Security key setup. So now there's a request from Microsoft Edge by Microsoft Corporation to access my key. And this prompt is the confirmation that I'm using really my physical key. And so I'm pressing okay. And then there is continue setup, and it is telling me that the google.com is gonna to create a credential on your security key. And this is the confirmation that this is indeed the right path. I'm creating a passkey stored in my Yubico authenticator, in, in my Yubico key. Now I'm pressing okay again. And this is important because if you follow my channel, you see that my first video on Yubico series is what should I do when I first get a YubiKey? And as I told you in the, that video, you should download the Yubico tool to configure pin for everything inside, in, inside the key, pin for SSH, pin for PGP, pin for FIDO key. But the reality is the operating system knows exactly what the key is. And the operating system knows that this key is new. I've just removed it from the package. And so it prompted me new security key pin because the operating system dialogate with the key and the key is telling to operating system that it's a new key. And so it's the operating system that forces you to create the pin for the first time. So it is really simple. You didn't need to follow my suggestion, download the tool from YubiKey. You can just unwrap your key, plug into your USB port, and everything is done for you. Except as you saw before, you need to pay attention on where you are creating your passkey because the first option is not the option you want now that you have a security key. As I told you before, I'm not gonna use the same pin I'm using for my Windows Hello because so it avoids confusing. It, it avoids confusion. So I'm gonna use another pin and I'm pressing OK. And now I can touch my security key. I touch again the security key for saving the passkey. The first touch is setting the pin. The second touch is saving the passkey and I'm done. The passkey is now created with a FIDO2 security key. And for the pin, I'm suggesting uh, you to create a mnemonic pin uh, you can use a letter and digit. The pin can be up to eight, um, eight um, digit and or uh, characters. And remember, uh, if you follow my uh, channel, the pin is important because if you enter the wrong pin eight times, the credential on your key will be destroyed. And this is a protection to avoid brute force attack. So please don't use your birthday because 
probably is the first pin an attacker can try, but you can use a very mnemonic key that is not common because an attacker have only eight tentatives before the credential are destroyed. So I usually use uh, eight uh, digit pin or eight digit, a uh, seven digit and one letter is surely strong enough. Now let's see your pass key in action. I'm gonna sign in in my Google account. I put in my email, then I'm entering my password from my password manager. And then it is going to ask me the second factor authentication with my key. So I can simply touch my Yubico security key and I'm done. So as you can see, having a security key is really interesting because it allows you to have security on your account with a two-factor authentication that is strong because it's stored inside a physical key with a battle-tested firmware. And the only thing you need to do when you need to confirm your identity with the second factor authentication is touching the key. And this is really the right way to have your digital life secured. But Passkey has another interesting functionality. So I'm gonna sign in and actually I'm pressing try another way. So instead of copying the password from my password manager, I press try another way and it is give me option and I can enter my password or I can use my Passkey. So I didn't need to remember or use a password manager. Now I press continue. It is ask me the pin and I'm touching the key and I'm in in my account. The difference between the previous video is now I'm using the passkey for entering into my account instead of using my password. In the first example, in the previous example, I entered my password and so the key is used only as a second factor authentication. So I only need to touch the key. But when I use the passkey stored inside my physical YubiKey key, to enter in my account without the password. So I'm using instead of a password, I need to type the pin for extra protection. So if an attacker get my key, it has only eight tentative to brute force the pin. If they have not the pin, they cannot use the key for entering my account. So as you can see, even with the basic security key, the less expensive one, uh, you can have uh, the same level of security for securing your account. Because as I, tell, uh, as I told you in the previous video, all the goodness of the five series is mainly for developer and for advanced scenario. But the basic passkey scenario is perfectly um, satisfied by a standard YubiKey, a standard um, security key NFC without needing the five series that cost double the money uh, almost. And for a basic usage, it's not needed. Thanks for watching and I'm waiting you for the next one video on the YubiKey series.